just in case that's not her name, because I don't want to get used to calling her that if that's not going to be her name. Um, she is beautiful, uh, and I'm very excited. She is located all the way up in Eider, Alabama. Eider is up near the Georgia and Tennessee state borders, so she's about a two and a half hour drive from me. She is from Sand Mountain Danes. I will uh, link them in my bio if I remember. Becca, do that. Um, and she is from a litter of I think around 10. If I, I haven't like stopped and counted, but I've seen like videos and pictures of the litter. And so I've, I'm guessing around 10. And they had a litter several weeks older than her and then her litter so um it's been really cute to get to see her siblings and uh probably cousins or something from another litter um but the woman i've been in contact with since deciding on giant baby has been fantastic and they made a Facebook group and so that all of us that get dogs from them can stay connected and we can share pictures and videos of the dogs we get from them and it's just super cute and uh, I'm very excited. My dad's gonna go with me. He's gonna drive so that I can hold her and comfort her uh, for the, the initial part of the trip uh, because that is a very traumatic moment for puppies is to be taken away from their litter. Um, I mostly am aware of this now as an adult because of when my former roommate and I went to go pick up her second beagle. I got her a beagle for her birthday a couple years ago at this point. Is it two? No, Jesse just turned one. So a year ago and like April of 2021. Okay, I had to stop because I had a lot of turns and it was moving the camera. Um, but like I was saying, I have pictures of Jo Bean's little face where she looks absolutely terrified because that was the first time in her entire life she'd been away from her mom and dad, her litter, and then the family that was raising mom and dad. So it was it's a lot. And now that I know that, uh, I am coming prepared for Giant Baby. I'm bringing toys with me so that she can play in the car if she gets bored. I'm bringing um, a blanket kind of thing with me that smells like my current dog June so that she can be smelling June the whole ride home and I say blanket thing because it's like a detachable blanket for dog beds that I don't have attached to the dog beds because they don't stay on and so they've just been in June's kennel getting her smell specifically for this moment and then it's going to be a familiar texture to her once she gets home Good, how are you? It's puppy day. I've done a horrendous job of vlogging this week because I've just had so much going on. So let me show you the product. Oh, I'm sure I left something that was not supposed to be left. 
here in the living room. The only thing that really didn't get done was my big area rug didn't get put down. But June's in her kennel, uh, everything else down here is pretty much ready to go. I swept, I didn't get to mop, but you know, it is what it is. And then this is the cleanest my kitchen has been in a very long time. I didn't get this box handled. It's just so big, but I got everything else done and rearranged the kitchen a little bit. And that's pretty much it. Downstairs was the main problem. Uh, Cause this is the main area where Giant Baby's gonna be. Tomorrow and next week, um, I'm gonna be working on my home office. I know, baby. I'm working on my home office and pick up all the shredded pieces of plastic from the last puppy. So um, I'm about to leave. Um, but I'm about to leave. My dad's driving us up, and so we're about to hit the road. We have uh, made it to the meetup location. We're waiting on the breeders to get here with Giant Baby. There's no clouds above me when I think about your eyes tonight. You're my comfort after every day beneath the daily grind. Yeah, I'm on my way to you. Yeah, I'm coming So it's been about three weeks since I started this vlog. Um, I forgot how insane life of the puppy gets. Um, but there she is, right there. She's asleep on top of big sister. So sorry for a lot of the like vertical videos. I like vlogging was the last thing on my mind. And I'm also sorry for this terrible angle. It's what I have right now. So it's been a lot of vertical videos that I'm having to like fit onto this just because um, it's easier to like film a memory that way. And that's more of what I've been doing and forgetting to vlog. Um, so I'll give some like talking updates here real quick. Daisy is 12 weeks, will be 13 weeks tomorrow, I think. Um, I got her at 10 weeks and she has grown so much in that time. Like I knew she would grow fast, but it hurts my heart a little bit because I still just want to like pick her up and hold her for as long as I can. And I don't have much longer. Um, but the biggest update for her is last Wednesday night, we were just chilling on the couch it was almost time for her and june to go in their kennels excuse me it was almost time for them to go in their kennels and all of a sudden daisy just throws up on the couch like full contents of her stomach just bleh. so i clean it up i snuggle her and tell her it's okay because she was scared she was gonna be in trouble and then I sit with her because I know that a lot of times 
dogs will throw up again um, after a little bit. So I wait. And sure enough, about an hour, hour and a half later, she throws up a second time and gets the last bit of the food out of her stomach. And then about an hour, hour and a half later, she throws up again. And she does this. It was four rounds of vomiting over the course of the night, but each round had three vomits in it. It was to the point she was dry heaving and throwing up just stomach bile. And it, I didn't go to sleep until 3 a.m. Thursday morning because I was so worried about her and didn't want her to be by herself. And But because she was literally empty and exhausted, we all went to bed. I texted my boss like, hey, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, start work on time tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. So the next morning I sit with her, I wait, I don't feed her anything, but she starts to look dehydrated, her gums are white. And so I'm like, that's it, I'm taking her to the vet. And I took off work that day. She got uh, checked for parvo worms, both were negative. She got a nausea shot and subcutaneous fluid. So they just injected it under her skin and she slept the entire day Thursday. Friday morning, as soon as the vet opened, we were back because all that night and that morning, because she wakes me up at 5, 5.45 every day, um, her poop was nothing but clear mucus. And so I knew that meant there was likely a blockage. So I took her, they did x-rays, couldn't see anything, but did tell me that depending on what a blockage, sorry, but depending on what a blockage was made of, it might not show up. Uh, excuse me. I'm convinced she had eaten pee pad. Not, I didn't even be convinced. Like, I saw blue plastic in the poop before her poop turned to just mucus. Um, but because they couldn't see anything, they just sent me home with an antibiotic and some probiotics. Why am I yawning all of a sudden? Um, to give her until they ran out. I, I worked Friday, but I cried and had like breakdowns about three or four times that day because she is growing so fast and had not eaten because of throwing everything up and then not being able to keep anything down that she was skin and bones. Like I, I know she wasn't going to die, but like I was terrified because she looks like I, she looked like I abused her, like I neglected her. And I, did, what, what do you do at that point? Um, so she ate nothing but pumpkin for like five days straight. And then a little cherry on top, she and June got a stomach bug. Um, Saturday night into Sunday morning, June woke me up in the middle of the night to let her outside, which never happens, very rarely, and I know it's bad if it does. So I let her out, and then I wake up the next morning at 5 to get ready for church on Sunday, and she is like, let me out now, Mom. So I let her out. Um, Daisy's still real pitiful, real sluggish and sleepy because she's low on energy, and I leave them, go to church, come home. And, um, I have to go back later in the afternoon to work on, um, stuff for an event that's the next day on Monday. I come home. I took Daisy with me for that practice because I, with her being sick, I didn't want her to be by herself for too long. And, uh, she'd thrown up a little right before we left. So was, I'm glad I brought her. Um, but when I got home from that, I realized June had had diarrhea in her kennel and pooped in her kennel while I'd been at church that morning and did not realize it. And she was so embarrassed. She thought she was going to be in trouble because she never potties in her kennel. And then after that diarrhea, she was clogged for like two or three days. Same thing happened a little bit after I know she passed whatever her bowel obstruction was because I heard it I heard it break loose and all everything through her intestines so they were both constipated for about two three days 
and ate nothing but pumpkin. So today is the first day that they're both back on just their normal food. The upside of them being sick at the same time is June now lets Daisy cuddle with her. June has loved Daisy since I brought her home as like a playmate. But I think she's finally accepting her as a sister or at least part of the pack. And it makes my heart so happy because it is all Daisy has wanted since I brought her home and she finally gets it. Today, Daisy actually went back to the vet for her 12-week um, vaccines. That This was already scheduled weeks ago before homegirl ever got sick. And so she was pitiful when we walked in the front door, like, no, we were just here. Um, so uh, luckily I got all that handled before I even had to start work today. So I didn't have to take off. But she is completely back to being herself. And she has been running, zoomies, running laps, trying to get June to play in the house. And so it is nap time, as you can hear the puppy grumbles. So I think I'm disturbing her enough. So I'm going to stop talking and get back to work. Daisy's first bath with me. Yeah, we did so good. We didn't get everything done. But we're clean girl for the most part. Yes, good girl. That was your first bath with mama. Big sister was waiting for when we opened the door. Very concerned. June technically needs one too, but the last time I gave June a bath, she almost pulled hair out of my scalp, so I don't do that. She probably mostly gets like rubs, rubbed down with like some dish soap on a cloth and some water. You get on spot baths. Cause you know, I don't want to be scalped. Here's a look at me afterwards. Uh, this would be a paw print. This would be a paw print and that is a head. 